So then I'll pull it into, I'll drag the file into a video editing software. And then from there I can, I can go frame by frame. So I can go really, really slow, just, right? Yeah. So I can, I can slow it down or I can go frame by frame and I can, and I'm trying to figure out, okay, like what, what happened here? Like what, okay. What's the footwork depending on the move? Like what's the hand fighting? What's the setup? What made it work? So I, I'm trying to like, you know, that it worked. So you're reverse engineering it. Why, so right? yeah. Why did this work? And you know, a lot of it, to some extent is speculation. That's why for my videos, right. I have the same guy doing the same move multiple times. Then you have like a sense of like, Oh, this is not just like a fluke. Like he's able to do this repeatedly. Right, right. So like, so Sitikov, the Russian guy, like he hits that slide by, or some people call it a shrug or um, he hits the move against everybody. So it's like, that's his like trademark move. Like what is he doing to allow him to do that? And then you start picking up things. Okay. So Sitikov, he always hits it with his right arm, his right, he uses like a right arm hook. So it's, it's when the opponent has a left arm collar tie or a left arm inside tie, he does it against either. Okay. So what he's doing is, so I, I, I watched multiple clips. Okay. Is there like a similarity here? Okay. He's, he's digging a right underhook. And when the, the opponent defends with an inside tie with their left arm, he's hooking the tricep. He hooks his right arm inside grabs the tricep and then he's pivoting he's throwing the arm and he is like yanking the collar tie to him right. and so he right. yeah mm -hmm. so it's all of those elements and you see it over and over and so you can kind of figure out okay these are the details that matter because i see him doing this in like all the videos so you get that sense of it um and and so I think that that's a big thing is, is seeing it multiple times. And then I think when you, once you've broken down film for a while, you get a sense for, um, you get a better sense for why something works or doesn't work. And uh, almost like a grappling IQ for lack of a better word.